All right, Ooh, that's bright. Good morning. Uh, welcome back. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I uh, do apologize. Um, things have been a bit hectic lately, but yeah, here I am today, going after Jewfish. Um, haven't done sort of a Jewfish in a while, so I thought it's um, definitely overdue, and probably use plastics to start with, just since the tide's it's probably running still a bit. I want to get down there a bit deep, but, but um, yeah, it's a big high tide this morning. It's two meters, so got about an hour until it starts pushing, but yeah, we'll give it a go and fish some of the deep holes in the river here, so. And then, um, yeah, we'll target brim when the tide starts pushing back out later on, so. Might use some um, cranky crabs, some um, prawn, little plastics, because um, plenty of prawns in the river at the moment, so. So yeah, let's give the uh, elusive dew a go first, and yeah, stay tuned. You. I think just for a confidence thing, I might start with a plastic, I think. All right. Now to start with, just running the um, the Z-Man four inch diesel minnow. Now these, I used to use these like a lot in the river, but I haven't used one in a video, I don't think. So uh, this is just the AU color. So just a natural color. Um, I'm, all, I'm all for natural colors. So yeah, we'll give him a go. A little bit of a ledge here, so we'll fish that. And then there's dew here. I don't know if they'll bite yet because it's um it's still pushing but I can see a something sort of on this ledge here so I thought why not we'll stop here Jackie drag now we're just gonna keep in contact let it sink all the way to the bottom sometimes it's hard to tell if it's sunk so you just got to make sure it's tight and it should stop there we go it stopped now I'm just gonna do a couple aggressive hops just sort of short, short, sharp ones though. Nothing sort of out of the ordinary. Ooh, that's a hit. That was a hit. That's got the adrenaline going again. <laughs> Alright. I seen him on the sounder. And, um,. Yeah, he's yeah, a little go. Let's see if I can get him. Yep, yep, there's a juke. Ah, oh, he's only small. Oh, it could be a flathead actually. Yeah, it's a flathead, I think. No, it's a little juke. <laughs> Tiny. On the little Z-Man plastic. He's a bub. Got a bit excited for a second, but he's small. Yeah, he's only like, geez, 20, 40, yeah, 45 max. <laughs> Can only grab him like a bass. <laughs> there he is. Small fella. Off you go, buddy. Oh, yes on the way up. It's either a, I think it's a small dew, <laughs> or it's a flathead, but I reckon it's a dew, eh? No, it's a flatty. And he's actually not too bad. <laughs> oh, settle down, buddy. He's, um, he's over 40. He's be 45. Oh, yeah, he's not bad at all, actually. Yeah, he'd be, um, I think it's spiked there. That's straight out. Maybe, I reckon he'd be close to 50. Probably not quite on the 50 scale, but not a bad flatter to say the least. There he is. He'd be a good flatter if you wanted to take him home, that's for sure. You get some nice fillets off him. Yeah, I'd say probably between 46 and 48. Yeah, on the Z-Man. You know? Yep. Beautiful. The wind and tide are starting to work against each other now, so I'm kind of sort of stationary, which is what I want. Like, if the wind stays like this, it's not too bad. I can probably manage it, but any windier, yeah, I'm going to have to ditch the dew, but I probably will ditch him soon anyway. Probably head up the creek and 
go after some brim. And then be, there's dew up there too as well, so might get some small soapies up there. All right, time to hit up the brim. I reckon that'll be fun with this big high tide on the edge, so. Time to get the light stuff out and yeah, go flick on the edge. I reckon along here, I'm gonna head into one of the creeks up there and I might just fish along here until then. So, a little cranker crab. I think that's in the brown color, in the white. So one of the smaller cranker crabs. Probably one of the better brim lures out there. And I've just got my one to two kilo gem black with my 2000 shallow spill black as well. I think um, the brim will be on on the edge today, so let's give it a go. Let's get this boy on the edge. I don't know how we're going to go up here. It's really quick. And the water is filthy. Got him. Little fella. Little fella. First one on the cranker crab. Didn't take too long. Um, it's a bit of a mission to to keep steady. It's flogging out of this creek. But um, small brim to start. I'm just letting it sink on the edge and then giving it some very small sort of shaky hops off the bottom. Get it right up there. Oh, I think I'm on. Yep. <laughs> I'm on again. <laughs> it was like swimming towards me, that one. Probably second cast later. I want to get some big ones, eh? I want to get some big ones. Surely there's a brim up there. Come on. There's something feeding up there. Yes. Oh, I knew there was something up there. Oh, it's a flatty. It's a flatty on the cranker. <laughs> he's not bad either. Well, he's not bad at all. Actually. Oh, he's a good flooded. Play him easy because I've got six pound. And I don't want to lose a cranky crap. <laughs> he's actually like okay. Like he's he's over 50. Oh, he's shaking around. Settle down, mate. He's a nice flatty. Oh, on the light gear, it's a little bit trickier. He swallowed the crab. I mean, in you go. There you are. Oh. <laughs> yep, and that's flatter than nets for you. <laughs> yeah, he's not bad. He's over 50. Mr. Krabs is down there somewhere. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, crab's coming out. There he is, he's probably on 50. Yeah, there you go, he's um, 51. So he's a um, very nice flatter to take home. But I don't think I'm gonna take any fish home, but yeah, look at the, look at the colors on him. He's a very nice colored flatter, isn't he? Beautiful, beautiful fish. Off he goes. Mr. Cranker. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Another brim. He's probably, oh, he's not that much bigger than the last brim I caught. Oh, off he goes. I'll count that, because I could have got him in. 
but I was going towards the bank, but I'll, I'll count that brim as number three. All right, what plastic do I want to put on? Um, I want to go something too big, I guess. Oh, I might go some shrimp. Seaman shrimp, let's put them on. In the pink. We'll go a 1.6 and we'll just hop it in like two to three meters. Gotta make sure it's straight, which that pretty much is. There's a couple of alright arches along here. And they're not deep and they could be small dew. Nathan was fishing around here two days ago and he got eight very small dew. So only in three meters, he was saying. And I might just throw the shrimp around in that sort of range, I think. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I'm adrift. I think it's a floody. Oh, I don't think he's too bad either. Oh, he's not that big, I don't think. He's just on a light rod. What have we got? Oh, it's a brim, I think. It's a nice brim. <laughs> on the shrimp. Solid brim. Wow, he scoffed that. Check him out, he's 30. What a good brim that is. I was just hopping that on the bottom. Yeah, you're a, a 31 model. Pretty good. Scoff the shrimp. Yeah, look at him. Biggest brim of the day. Might just keep doing that for a bit. Might just sort of drift out in the middle. Oh, yep. Again, <laughs> I can't watch the footy. Just trying to watch the footy. I reckon this is a little flathead. No, it's a brim again. They like the shrimp. And it's not even that light of a jig head, which I find interesting. Yeah. I love it. Just dragging it on the bottom. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh dear. This is a good fish. Oh, this is a Jew or a good flathead. Oh man. Oh no, I think I'm in trouble here. Oh no, it snapped me off. Oh, those head shakes were violent. Oh man, it got me on something. It was either a, like a decent dew or it was a really good flooded. It didn't know it was hooked at first and then it started moving really slow. Oh no, I was just drifting. And I'm just bouncing on the bottom, the little shrimp. I'm going to have to change rods. I, I can't do this, I don't think, with six pound again. There's like a little hump in the middle here. And it drops off. And I reckon there's a snag and there's fish hanging around it. Because that rubbed me, hey. Oh. I'm gutted. I should have bought like a better all round sort of rod, I think. Because six just, oh, it just doesn't do it. I might um, use my three to six kilo. I don't know. I don't know what it was. What do you guys reckon that was? Oh, yes. Oh, I think it's a Jew. <laughs> wow. Is it a small dew? Yeah, it is. 
I reckon I hooked a bigger Jew before. <laughs> there you go. A little Sophie. <laughs> wow. Well, if this is what's in here, I might actually change to the um the small rod because that would be a bit more fun catching them. Look at that. Smallest few ever. That's so cool. Whoa. Oh, they like the sh they like the shrimp, eh? And I'm literally just drifting on the bottom. And I'm doing a similar technique as what I would do to the bass. I would just like bounce it on the bottom. That fish I hooked before then, that was that was a Jew, in my opinion. That would have been like a at least a 60. Yeah, there you go. Right, guys, that's gonna do me for the day. Uh, there wasn't much happening. It was probably um, a bit of a write-off with the Jew, to be honest. They were. Um, they weren't active. I didn't actually sound too many either, so I don't know if they were in that area too much. I've obviously been in a kayak, I can't really venture to other spots, but I went up a creek and yeah, it was okay. Like I caught a alright flathead, got some alright brim, got railed by I think a potential dew. It was um, had some weight and had some violent head shakes too, which kind of indicates dew. It was either a flathead or a dew, it was one or the other, but um, because I got a dew like the next cast after I got snapped off, which was like, as you would have seen, only like 40 centimetres. So, yeah, possible dew, I think. So, oh well, six pound, that's um, that's what happens when you use light gear. So, no, it was so good to be on the water again. And, yeah, apologies for the lack of videos. I'm sure I'll get back into the routine of um, every fortnight on, on the Wednesday. So, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.